Hey guys, uh, this is the uh, Betamax man here, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to replace the video head drum motor out of this thing. Now, this is a uh, Sony SLHF 600, and this is a, a very nice machine. This is kind of a uh, mid mid range beta so this is a uh, between a uh, this is almost a high-end machine not quite it's right there in the middle this is almost as good as say a uh, SOH of 900 or a SOH of 750 this is right there in the middle. Uh, so your SLH of uh, 400 would be your, your low end Super Beta Hi-Fi. You've got your 600 which is your midline um, unit which is a little bit more money and then you have your 900. Now the 900 is a, is a very high end machine. It has a lot of features on there. Um, the 1000, the SLH of 1000, which is what I've got. I've actually got two of these, but I've got an issue with the other one. And I have to get a part for it, and I don't have the, the part that I need. But um, I have two 1000s, and I've got a 750 that I use as my playback deck. But this is the midline. This is basically the SLHF 400 with a third video head. Okay, so this actually has two A heads and one B head. The third head is because this does have. Um, perfect uh, freeze frame so it's got perfect pause it has frame by frame uh, and it does have slow motion so this one is one of the midline and it's a very nice machine uh, this one doesn't work because I robbed the voltage regulator the SDK 5441 uh, regulator chip to fix another machine actually I think I pulled the regulator out of this one to fix a 900 that I had um, and that 900 sold um, so anyway but we're gonna show you how to take the how to change out the video head drum motor and they're not that hard and we're going to show you what you need to do but the first thing you'll need to do is take the panel off the top so we'll take this panel off try to do it one handed okay then you'll want to take the bottom panel off. Now the reasoning is is because we have to take the whole entire uh, video head drum assembly out. So we got to take the whole assembly out to do this. Now I'm also going to do as soon as I can find my uh, special tool we're going to show you how to take off the upper head drum so I want to show you guys how to take that upper drum off and then uh, do a really good thorough cleaning um, this head actually looks pretty good uh, it doesn't have a, a high shine on it what happens is, is a lot of these uh, Betamaxes the top of the head actually gets really shiny 
and then it causes the tape to stick to it. And it was a phenomenon known as stiction. So the tape will stick to the drum. And when you go to rewind, the tape sticks to the drum so much that it bogs down the motor and it actually will prevent the machine from, from rewinding. Now, my 1000 has this issue where the top head drum is so shiny and the uh, tape's sticking to it. Now, a lot of the, believe it or not, but the higher, the really high grade tapes um, were very known for um, making this top piece uh, very uh, shiny and and basically you want this surface to be dull so that the tape don't stick to it okay so we we'll want to take the bottom panel off and then you'll also want to take the bottom circuit board loose now this one's already taken apart so we're going to show you how to remove the um, head drum assembly and then we're going to show you how to take the motor off and put another one on. The motors are interchangeable on these things. Put it on its side here. And you can see here, this is the motor. This is the drum motor that we're going to change. And uh, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to show you guys how to, how to change it. I'm not going to take this one out. I've got another one that I'm going to use as a demonstration to as to how to change out the motor on these. But there's three screws here. One there, there, and up there. Now, these are spring-loaded screws. Now, they've also got a washer on them, so when you take the screw out, you'll see the washer. So the washer has to be put on to the screw before you screw the screw in. Uh, the reason why they're spring-loaded um, is to keep the to keep tension on the head drum. Okay, so here we go. Here's the head drum assembly after you've removed it, removed it from the machine. There's a nut here that has to be removed and then you have to remove the screw on this side and the screw on that side. Now my recommendation is to take a sharpie or some kind of marker and go ahead and mark around the area here so that you know where that goes back into. I don't need to make these marks because I've done it for so long that I don't even need that, but I'm gonna recommend, I highly recommend you use a Sharpie or something to mark. Just put a mark next to the uh, steel plate here. This plate that, that uh, screws into the into the drum and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more marks on the other side where the other screw is and that's going to uh, allow you to put it back in the same spot okay now you will need to remove the nut there's a nut on the on the top here now you can use a nut driver or you can use a socket set um, I've actually got a screwdriver that has uh, a tool that's designed to hold a socket. This is a, a, a 7 millimeter socket. And this is also a ratcheting screwdriver. So if I want, I can uh, do the ratchet. But I'm going to put it in the center because I don't want to use the ratcheting system. I'm just going to put that in the center, that way I can do this. So you'll want to take your, your nut off here. So what you'll need to do is hold 
with a couple of your fingers one hand just take one hand and hold the hold the motor in place like that while you unscrew the nut so I got the nut loose so you can also you can either grab it like this and hold it or you can grab the top here and hold it because the the head drum is actually um, you, you need to stop the heads from moving inside in order to get that nut free so I can finish taking the nut off and once I finish taking the nut off here let's do it this way we'll just do it this way we'll set the thing down here and uh, I'll show you I'm gonna hold it we're just gonna finish taking the nut off here okay got the nut off now the nut is right there okay here's the nut so now we'll take um, a Phillips number two Phillips and we'll take the screws out here I'm gonna take the screw out of this side and then we'll take the screw out of the other side here and uh, like I said this is a, a number two Phillips is what you'll need now these screws have washers on them so but you don't have to worry about the washers because the washers will not come off so you don't have to worry about this will just lift straight up just like that lift it straight up and that will come right out of there so now you have your motor now what typically happens is the Hall Effect device fails. Look how rusty this Hall Effect device is. This is the Hall Effect device right here. The Hall Effect device goes bad and that's generally what causes the drum motor not to work properly. Now as you can see there's a washer there's a washer here this washer has to be on there because if this washer is not put back on uh, your motor will go down in there too far and you'll you'll actually uh, your motor will go in too far and it'll rub against the coils and if it rubs against the coils you'll damage the coils and you'll have basically a scrap metal <laughs> so in order to uh, and with this you just want to pry up on the magnet you can pry the magnet off like that so this is the magnet and this is the coils these these red things these are all the coils and they're they're just little Hall effect devices little sensors that detect the rotation uh, of the motor so this is it this is all you gotta do this is the motor now sometimes it's not the Hall effect device that fails sometimes it's these uh, 50 volt 1 microfarad caps that fail on these so these are 450 volt uh, capacitors I believe they're one microfarad or are they yeah they should be one yep they're one microfarad that's what I thought they're one microfarad 50 volt caps now when you replace capacitors you need to get they have to be at least I would recommend getting the uh, 105 degree caps if you put too low of if you've got caps in there that can't withstand a certain temperature 
they'll they'll burn out you'll burn them out so make sure that you put at least uh, 85 degree caps but I always put the 105 degree uh, capacitors in there now this little washer we're gonna show you what happens if you don't have that washer on what will end up happening is that you're you're gonna rub so just for demonstration purposes we're gonna put the screws back in then we're gonna put this on we're gonna show you just exactly what it does without the washer okay so let me put this back on we're gonna put the camera down like that so that you guys can see me putting it back on but we're gonna show you just exactly what happens if you if the washer is not on there and I'm doing this specifically so I can show you guys because I want you guys to be able to know how to do this and if you've got an issue where it's rubbing when you put it on then more than likely the washer has came out and uh, it's the cause so you can just you put the motor on and you put the screws back on and now we go to put the well, go to put this back on you'll notice that we put it on and it's rubbing it's touching and it's rubbing see how it's rubbing on there see that you can hear it too so make sure that you put that washer on there so we're going to take it back apart actually just gonna lift I'm just gonna lift up on the magnet here it's gonna take uh, I'm just gonna take it off because it'd be easier to just take the screws out and take it off that way it's a lot easier so but that's what will happen if you don't put the washer back in there. And that washer is to keep the uh, motor at the right height. And also when you put the nut on there, you want to make sure you're careful with that as well. Because, so what will happen is, so now we'll take the, the magnet off here. So we'll put the washer back on. So this washer is a special washer designed to uh, go on here. So we'll put the washer back on and then we'll put the... Now there's um, wires that go underneath this clip. So there's a clip here. You just put the wires underneath that, that little clip. This little clip here is you can see that little this little clip here you can see that and you remember how I marked it see how I marked the with the sharpie this is where the markings come in now you know exactly where the screws are supposed to go because there are more holes than just those so just make sure that when you do this and you're gonna be able to put them back on so now when we put this on it's not gonna rub but it's gonna be nice and smooth so and just make sure you make these nice and tight they they can strip out easily because they're just going into aluminum and so just be careful when you do tighten these down because they are going into aluminum and you can strip them and if you strip them you're screwed because uh, now you're gonna have to uh, replace the head drum if that happens so just be careful when you're putting those screws back in so now when we put the um, the motor back in it's not gonna rub okay put it back in just like that and you notice 
how it's not rubbing. It's nice and smooth. And it's not rubbing. So that's the purpose for the washer being there. I'm not handling this carefully because this is no good. So this was just a demonstration on how to change the, the drum motor. It was just a just used as a demo so you know the heads are shot in this thing so it doesn't matter if I throw it on the ground or chuck it you know because it's it's no good you know but uh, it would be good to, to show you guys how to take the upper drum off now you can you want to remove the uh, plastic piece here as well this is the, the plastic guide um, you can take that off as well and but yeah taking the upper drum off and doing a good cleaning on the upper drum is something that I recommend you doing uh, because the they get real shiny and the tape sticks to it so to take the upper drum off I've got a this is a T10 so a number 10 is what you'll need it's a Torx and you'll just loosen the screw in the back here so i've already loosened it but we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you just gonna loosen it a little bit take that off actually and then we're gonna take the the two screws off at the top here so I recommend taking the top screws out first before uh, removing. And then that's going to take the top drum off. Now they do have washers on them so you need to make sure that you don't take the washers off. Leave the washers. Make sure your washers go back on because the washers are there for a reason. So make sure that you get the, the washers on. So now this thing should just come off after I take the screw completely out. And that upper drum comes off. And then you want to take your, your plastic piece off so we can take the... And we'll show you the heads there in just a minute. We'll show you the video heads, but this actually... I believe came out of a two head machine so we'll just take I thought it came out of a four head I thought it was a four head but it's not anyway but uh, we'll take the screws out of the of the plastic you don't have to take the plastic off but it'll make it a lot easier for you to do a full cleaning on the drum so we'll just we'll take this one off and that that's it's pretty easy to take the drum off of these um, and you can put the drum back on and it's real easy uh, you don't have to worry about messing up the alignment or anything like that so now you can take the, the two screws we got the plastic piece off and now you can see uh, that uh, we've got the there so so the plastic piece just goes on over here like that and you can mark them too if you want but anyway it just goes on let's see or was it over yeah anyway yeah it goes off there so anyway so yeah so here's the upper drum and basically what you can do is you can take some good household cleaner and you know you can even probably even take a piece of uh, fine uh, sandpaper like say uh, 400 or 600 grit uh, sandpaper and just you can sand on that and get that drum get the shine off of that drum is what you need to do just just that upper drum causes a lot of issues of course back in the day um oh yeah also i was mentioning about you can take the this top piece off here this top piece 
I forgot to take this off, but you actually don't have to take that off if you don't want to. Because this thing will go right back on. So you can put it right back on. You don't have to have that one off. But, you know, good idea to, you know, take that off. So we'll take, we can, we'll take this piece off too and I'll show you the heads and it'll kind of give you an idea on um, doing the heads and we'll, we'll show you how to do that and uh, they're they're pretty they're pretty simple to change the head on these um, so we'll need a number one number one screwdriver um, I think a number one will do it or I might need a zero now I need uh, number zero, so I don't know if I got my screwdrivers put back in or not. Because I don't think I have the... Yeah, this is a, a number zero, so we'll just take the two screws off here, and that'll take the... We'll take that off as well. just take this off like I said you don't have to take this off but a lot of people do when they're doing the the drum and now you can see the see you can now see the heads and uh, basically what you have to do like when you're when you're replacing the video heads will show you the heads on this thing so you can see that there's there's two heads so that's a video head and this head is warped because of the moisture and there's the other head and you can see just how fine they are and I don't even know if I can even zoom in um, to get a picture of the head but I think the head is completely broken on this side is I don't see the head on that side at all so the copper is completely gone on the head the, the, the head on this head is broken this head over here is broken so I believe this that's the the B head is broken Come on camera, focus. So you just want to take that sheen off and like I said, you know, you can get, I would recommend just like a, a green, uh, green scuff pad and just scuff, scuff it and just clean it up, clean it up. As you can see, the moisture is got, it's pivoted, it's, it's all corroded, but, um, and then they just they go on pretty easily um, so you go to put it back on it's pretty 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 simple to put back on but you can just do that and you put your put your back screw back in here so this is the torx screw that you want to put back in and uh, we can we can do uh, we'll reverse the so we'll just we'll put it back together here on the on the camera we'll just we'll put it back together so you guys can see um, how to do this You just thread your, your screw in, put your screw back in. And then uh, put your two, you've got your uh, two screws here. And they've got a washer on them and there's a reason why too. 
Yeah, they got a uh, they got a washer on there. We just put these screws back on. Lost one of my one of my screws here. There we go. Of course, you've got your your white screws, which put the, the plastic thing back on here. So this just goes on just like this, and then you just put your your two screws back on for the. For the plastic and they're going into aluminum so don't over tighten them because you can strip them out pretty easily just do it until they're nice and snug um they you don't have to you don't have to reef on them because you don't want to reef on them because like i said they're going into aluminum and it doesn't take much to strip out aluminum. And all these parts have to go back on. So they are literally essential. And they have to go back on. So and you just put your, your two little screws back on, the black ones. They hold this top plate on here. last one on and this thing is all back together and if this thing was going back into a machine you could put it back in so you can change out the head drum you can clean the upper drum um, you know and you can do the lower drum as well but if you're gonna do the lower drum uh, you'll need to take the video head out because you don't want to um, get anything on the on the heads. You can destroy the heads of a beta machine so easily. Um, the heads on a beta machine are very fragile, and there you go, it's all back together. So it, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. So I know that I've been rambling on for way too long, so I am going to end this video.